Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are using um, the Uncharted Map Oracle deck here by Colette Baron reed um, We used it last week as well. And we have three options and um, the options are of these. I'm using these stones to differentiate. So that's the first one. This is the second. Okay. And that is the third. So go ahead and make your selection. And uh, you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp to your video, to um, to your reading. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and begin with the option number one. So uh, for those of you who have chosen this option here, I can't quite get it to stand. So uh, I think that's the best I can do at this moment. So for those of you who have chosen this option here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to know? I'm just going to give these cards a shuffle. What is it that you need to know for the week ahead? What do we need to know at this moment? What have you come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? What is the answer to any question that you have at this moment? And this card here seems to be like kind of pulling out. So I'm kind of keen to take it. And it's the number 10. The card is called Rock Bottom. into a better position for you. Uh, there. So this is the option number one. And basically, uh, the cards uh, talks about rock bottom. And it's, uh, you know, usually when we think about rock bottom, we have a, a kind of a negative con connotation. It's not always good. Like being rock bottom is not always good. But here I feel like rock bottom is actually... Um, to get this into the best position for you. Yeah, I feel that, well, rock bottom is really a good place to be. And, you know, there is this mirroring situation here. So there's this path above you and there's the path below. And it's as if you have more than one option in terms of where to go to. So rock bottom is actually a great place to be right now. And what they're saying to me is that where you are right now is great because now you can start again and you have new options and you know what this is the really very much the energy at play at this moment in terms of what we've just come through with the eclipses and uh, with the new moon that we've just had a few days ago what we're looking at is new beginnings so the the second part of this year can have a very different feeling from the first part of this year, uh, where, whereas the first part of this year was very much about work and and not not you know working on oneself and going inward and actually just coping and and understanding and healing the past, right now we are at a stage of a new beginning, and this rock bottom is telling you well you can go in any path that you'd like, you can start all over again, you can actually begin again, you can go back to the drawing board. And, and start again and really redesign your life and redefine who you are and actually go forward in a way in which you haven't been able to go forward before, maybe because you haven't given yourself the permission to or because you thought you weren't able to because it just wasn't available. But here you are right now and you can actually start all over again, okay? And for some of you, I'm hearing that, you know, the person that you were when you were younger like 12 or 13 or even younger, or say between like the age of 12 and like 16, you can actually go back and rediscover who you were at that point and actually, you know, pick up some of those dreams and some of the goals that you had back then and follow that through because maybe that is where you need to go back to, to a place in yourself which you knew was real and which is untainted by the world and by res certain responsibilities that you may have uh, at this moment. Um, that message just applies to some of you. So if it doesn't uh, resonate with you, don't take it. The other thing I'm hearing here is that you, whatever you've done until now, 
there's been a successful completion of it okay uh, you have actually um successfully brought a conclusion to something so even though you may look back on it and think oh you know i could have done better or this could have been a better situation uh this is actually where you need to be and it's okay whatever is completed even if you feel that it's unfinished it's okay to move on from it because now is the time to leave all of that behind and actually to move ahead with a, with a kind of um, a, with taking great strides, moving towards something that is uh, that is more real for you. And this space of being rock bottom enables you to do that. And it, it also speaks of a, of a successful completion. So even though you may not think of it as a successful completion, whatever you've left behind, whatever is behind you right now, it is successful. Okay, in the greater scheme of things, it is it is okay. You don't need to think about it anymore. You don't need to worry about it. It's time to reconsider, regroup, think about where you're at right now and actually uh, forge your way ahead. All right, so that is basically the message that I'm getting for those of you who've chosen uh, this object here. All right, and I hope that's resonated with you and I hope that has been useful. I'm going to move on now to the next one. So for those of you who've chosen this object here, um, what is it that you need to know for today? What is it that you actually need to know at this moment? So we're just going to give the cards a big shuffle. So what is it that those of you who've chosen the option number two need to hear right now? What is it that you've come here to hear? And they, once again, there's this kind of card that's pushing through. And I feel that it's the right card for you. So it's the number 34. And it is called Spark. All right. So it's number 34 and it's called Spark. Spark. Let's see. I'm getting a glare from the lights above me here. So I'm going to place it down like this so you can see it more clearly. The word is spark, okay? But I'm feeling like this is not something that's outward. This is something that's inward. This is a kind of resonance that you have within you where you kind of know that it's okay. It's a very deep feeling inside of you. It's not, it's not necessarily a spark that you see, you know, that's something that's bright and, and, and uh, startling and something that draws your attention. It's more a sense of having a feeling of contentment or not really a contentment, but a sense of knowing that it's all okay, that it's all right just now. And what this card is telling me is that um, for some of you, what you actually need to know or what you need to feel is a sense of, of that it's all okay and then you'll know that it's true. So there, there are actually two messages here. So I'm, gonna, um, I'm going to actually explain them both. So for the first um, option here, uh, they're not one, it's not more important than the other. It will just apply to you differently. There's this thing that in order for you to actually go ahead right now, you need to understand and you need to feel uh, a kind of, uh, you need to be given a sign or uh, be, or just to have a feeling that you are one with the world and that uh, everything is going according to plan and that there's a kind of contentment, but like a divine contentment. It's like a, a spiritual comfort that you need to feel within you. And with the other option, I'm hearing that with love, okay, with regard to those of you who've come here asking about love, even uh, though this is a general kind of thing, it could apply to love as well. What I'm hearing is that uh, for those of you who've come here for love, until you feel this kind of sense of knowing or this comfort inside of you, you won't actually be able to move any anywhere with this, all right? So if you are 
hoping and wondering and, and, and anxious and thinking about what they may feel or, or what their next move is going to be or what you need to do in order to get a response from them. You're actually not going to get anywhere with this because this love is the love that needs to be felt uh, inside of you. It needs to be a, a sense of feeling. It needs, it's almost like something needs to click into place. It's like, you know, like when you're entering the digits of a safe and then it kind of clicks open. Well, in order for, for this love to be released, there needs to be a sense of, 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 of knowing and a spiritual comfort that you need to have inside of you for the digits to be right in order for this thing to kind of open. Um, this love to open, this love to be able to come to bear. Uh, the love is there, but it's something that needs to click into place in order for it to be released, okay? So that is the spark that they're talking about in terms of the love. It's not something that exists outside of you. It's not something that you need to seek or find outside of you. It's not going to happen in that way. It's something that needs to find itself. You need to feel uh, within you. And coming back to the other message for those of you where this is not to do with love. This is just to do with a sense of knowing, with a sense of feeling. They're asking you to come into being with yourself. They're asking you to go inward, not to try too hard, not to spend too much of your time meditating or fighting, you know, with yourself in order to calm yourself or trying too hard. This is not something that comes with trying too hard. It's not something that comes with a lot of effort. It's just a sense of knowing that comes when you are in alignment you know, and it's not about searching for alignment or doing any kind of healing treatments or, or working towards it or, or doing any kind of this esoteric stuff. It's simply a space within yourself which is of peace and, and being able to entertain that for a moment. And that is the spark that they're talking about right now. So what does this mean for you? Well, I think that for some of you, what it means is that when you actually feel this, okay, when you feel that this the sense of comfort inside of you where you know that everything's going to plan and, and you're being di guided divinely and that you know that you're on the right path, you're not seeking, you're not wanting, you're not um, desiring, you're simply at peace and in gratitude for what you have. Well, this is the moment in which things will start to flow again. And this is the moment in which things will, where you know that it's okay. It's okay to be, it's okay for it to be this way. And I feel that it's, it's interesting because, you know, there's kind of, um, there's this um, kind of line here, which is, it, it seems to me like it's supposed to be the uh, violin, uh, the string of the violin or the, um, yeah, I'm trying to get a better look at it for you. Yeah, but this is line here. I don't know if you can see it. That's just extending across her mouth. It, she, it seems like she's holding it with her mouth. And uh, I don't know, it kind of feels like it's got this elongated feel like the stone here uh, as well. And I'm kind of drawing a resonance uh, between the two. Uh, apologies for the camera work here. I'm just uh, recording this on a, on a device. And so, um, yeah, well, the, there's the re resonance with that. It feels like a ray, you know, it feels like a ray of of goodness, a ray of of uh, knowingness. It feels like this, this almost comes across you like a sense that something's like it's drawing past you like a comet that's drawing past you and brings to you this feeling which is which is referred to as a spark but it's more this kind of feeling of yes it's okay yes i'm on the right path yes it's going to, according to plan and it's in order to in order to be able to have things go according to plan you need to or to be settled within yourself you need to be able to experience the sense of calm and the sense of peace and the sense of bliss. And then going back briefly to those of you who this question is about love, it's when you have that, when you have this knowingness, when you have this feeling, when you have this feeling that it's all okay, it's okay the way it is, it's okay to surrender to this moment, 
and to not want anything, to not desire, to not to let go of your anxiety, whatever it may be, and just simply be in this moment that you actually have, um, you know, you kind of release this love, you release this this love, and it's it's able to grow, and it's like a bubble that forms and blows off into the into the sky, and it's it's something that has a life of its own. But in order to be able to have that, you need to release it, okay? So that is your message for those of you who've chosen the second option here, um, the card which is Spark, and which is the number 34, which has the numerological value of a 7, okay? Um, I thank you for coming by. And we're moving on to the next one. For those of you who've chosen this option here, Um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. Be asking, what is it that you need to know for today? And what is it that you've come here to hear? What is relevant to you at this moment? Oops, something has flown out and it is a card. Let's see what it is. Okay, so here's a card. It simply states mountain. It's number six. And... What I'm hearing from this card, it, this has got quite a different energy from the other cards uh, that we have until now. And um, there, there's more than one thing that I hear here. One of the things is that the path ahead for you may seem long and hard, but it's actually doable. And it's actually you have the courage that you you have the courage within you have the strength you're able to do this and it's simply about uh, going with it and within it where as you enter in it as you accept the challenge and walk with it you will find the secrets and jewels and, and gems in it which will actually allow you to you, you you'll feel a great sense of happiness at having that and it will bring you more fortune okay so that's what i'm hearing what I'm hearing also here is that this path, as it may, even though it may seem to not be the easiest path ahead, or it may seem to be a difficult path, it isn't actually. It, it's just what you perceive right now. And it's something that is not just doable. It's not just you have all the things, the you know, the, 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 the necessary strength that you need to be able to do this or the necessary equipment to be able to um, mount this, uh, this path. You also have the divine assistance and divine help, and this path has been uh, showed to you for a particular reason. Now, one of the other things I'm hearing here is that for some of you, you may dread this, and it's it's something that you might absolutely need to let go of or heal, heal before you can let go of, and so you might want to skip this this section of it or this part of your journey but it's really important for you to go through this in order for you to come through it because this journey is what's going to bring you the the jewels or the gems so to say that you need in order to get on with your life and to in order to leave this behind you i'm hearing also that this requires you to go inward and to have a stillness and to have a kind of restful um uh, feel about you and you might, you know, you might be resistant towards going on this path. And as I said, for some of you, it might even be a feeling of dread. But it's something that it's worth exploring. It's worth going down this route. So what they're saying to me is that it's not like you have to go down this path in order to be able to to uh, get to the other side. But going on this path that they've laid ahead of you, even though it seems difficult, it seems like a challenge, it seems like something that's almost insurmountable, is worth actually exploring. Um, because when you explore it, as I said, you will find the gems that are in there and it will be uh, certain gems that you will not be able to find elsewhere. I'm not talking about actual gems here. I'm talking about you know, just being able to experience something about yourself that you didn't even know uh, that you had within you, that you, a capacity that you hadn't uh, yet explored, or a, a strength that you didn't know you've had, um, or a kind of divine blessing that you haven't been aware of as yet. And, um, but it is, it is there and that you're just not able to see this right now. 
I get the very acute sense that some of you who've picked this card are going through some difficulties right now and uh, that you need to be assured that it's going to be okay and it is going to be okay. Uh, if it wasn't not going to be okay, I would let you know what they're saying is that, yes, it's going to be okay, but it requires a bit of um, commitment from you, a dedication to explore this path, to walk this path, to, to surrender to this actual challenge that you have before you and not to be afraid of it, not to be, not to surrender to the fear, not to be, um, uh, what is the word, to be paralyzed by the fear, but rather to be, to go with it, to flow with it. It's like surfing this wave, you know, just kind of allowing the wave to bring you to the shore, allowing yourself to go with the energy that supports you, this light here that's shining upon this path. Go with that. You know, you may experience desperation. You may experience some degree of anguish. For some of you, it might just simply be dread. This word keeps coming up for me here. But when you go into it, you're going to find that there is so much more and you're going to have a greater... Um, I, I want to use the word respect, but I think it's it's like you have a greater respect for yourself uh, as a result of having chosen this path. Uh, and you have... you. It's like you... It's almost like you understand yourself as being formidable as a result of having chosen this path. And there, there are, there's a lot to be gained from this. I'm also hearing that this is something that you need to do alone. This is something that you cannot do with others. Walking this path is one that you do alone and you are guided and you are being assisted. You just need to search within yourself for the courage that you need to walk this path. And for those of you who this message doesn't resonate with it at all and you're wondering, what am I going on about here? Well, I think that um, it might also simply be that the path ahead right now offers a challenge, simply, quite simply. It's not a challenge to be dreaded or it's not a challenge to be feared, but simply one that you need to bite the bullet and walk through. And, um, you know, it's not as if you need to, well, it's not as if you need to manifest this challenge into being. It's not as if you need to expect this challenge into being. But simply be aware that what you're about to walk through right now may uh, not be a walk in the park, rather. It's more like a hike on the mountain. Okay, so um, I hope this message has some resonance for you. And I hope it's been useful. And uh, to all of you who've come by today, I hope that you've this, these messages have resonated and that you have a fabulous week ahead, that you are able to um, work through any challenges that you may have and easily come to this space of stillness and peace in yourself. And I'm wishing you a very beautiful week ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.